Have you ever wondered what a day in the life of an STU athlete is like? I'll take you along with me on the day of my life. You will see me excelling in class. Working hard in my sport. And the daily struggles I face to get my homework done. Being an STU soccer player isn't easy. But with faith, courage and hard work, this is the life of an STU soccer player. I think the hardest thing about waking up in the morning is just if I wake, if I go to sleep late, because she's have no strength to, to get up. And, and uh, I hear my alarm clock, but I snooze it, and I snooze it, and I snooze it, and by the time I realize it, I'm late for class. I'm a defender in my soccer team, um, and obviously I'm the one that protects the, our goal from any other opponents. However, I also have to responsibility as defenders also help and support the attack. Um, not only that, I feel that being a junior, I mean, I have more experience, and uh, I need to show that experience on the field. I'm a communication major with a minor in English. Uh, my initial major, my freshman year, was a bio, but I quickly, not quickly, I changed it after a year because I felt that it was just getting too hectic and it was just not my passion. And I feel that communication is my area. Um, I don't have any rituals per se before games or anything like that. However, I do pray before every game. Um, I pray with the team also. And I just ask for God to, to protect us during the game, to, to please let us you know, play with, with, with a sound mind, with, with everything that we've been practicing on during the week, that we, that we may execute it during the match. And It's not really a, a, a superstitious thing. But I do believe that I gotta give God the, the glory and the honor for giving me the ability to play. And after games, whether we lose or not, I also thank God because maybe maybe we lost the game, but however, I, st I didn't say a bad word during the game or I didn't hit somebody intentionally or, or anything like that. So I, I try to keep my heart humble at all times, whether we win or lose. And, and then hopefully the next game will be, will be better. Being a student athlete um, helps in school, because professors understand that you have to balance, you have more on your plate to balance. For example, games, you know, you can't make it to class on time or you can't make it at all. And, and they understand that. I feel that professors here do not favoritism, favoritize, uh, you know, student athletes, but help maybe they give you extra time to complete assignments. Uh, some professors come to my games and, and they, they encourage other people, other students to come watch the games and I feel that that's, that's positive and, and, and it's encouraging to, to know that professors care about me and my other life, which is sports. I guess I become a little bit more popular. Uh, people come out to support. The teachers notice you, the teachers say hi to you when you walk around. And it's really nice. You kind of feel like a celebrity for a little bit. But, uh, my girlfriend, I mean, she gets a little jealous sometimes, but I think she's very secure. And, and I gave her the security that you know that that, I, that that I'm with her for a reason. You know, and she doesn't have to be scared that someone else is gonna come and take me away. Um, I love her. My hero will have to be my heroes because my mother is also one. My father and my mother are, 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 are my heroes. Um, I look up to them so much, I admire them so much, I respect them for everything they've done, for all the sacrifices they have done for my brother and I. I love them to death. They, they always come to my games whenever they can. And I just, I appreciate the love that they show me and, and, and that's kind of like the energy and the motivation that I have to, to continue in school and, and to continue playing hard because I just wanna 
I just want to work hard so one day they don't have to do all that work that they did for me. I mean, I've dedicated my life to soccer a lot since I was young. And, and during my entire life, with, in high school and in college, I have to give up um, certain activities because of soccer. I mean, I miss grad, I, I miss grad night, um, I miss birthdays, I miss family reunions. I miss a lot of things, but one of the things that hurt me the most to miss was my little cousin's 15th birthday. She had a big quinceanera party and, and I was in Tampa and in White League Nationals and it broke my heart not to be there. And when I saw the videos and the pictures, it just tore me apart not to be there. And, and, and I love her so much. Right now she's, she's 17 and, and I ask her for forgiveness, but she, you know, it was hard to miss that birthday party. I feel very blessed. I feel very blessed to be in this institution of, of St. Thomas University. I feel very blessed to be um, part of the soccer team because I know that there's a purpose for everything. I'm not here in this earth for, for just coincidence. I know that I have a purpose in this life and it, it's to shine, shine bright. And, and, and that's something that I, I, wherever I go, I wanna be that light that shines in the darkness. And I feel that that's me right there.